Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're going to talk about Bitcoin, and we're going to be discussing the hash ribbons. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and check out Into the Cryptoverse Premium at intothecryptoverse.com. Let's go ahead and jump in. So occasionally, as you guys know, we like to put on our on-chain analysis hat and investigate Bitcoin's price from a on-chain perspective. Okay, now again, on-chain metrics are dubious at best, so it fits in perfectly with the content of this channel. Now, one of the things that you should know with regards to hash ribbons is, is how they're derived, okay? So let's start by just looking at two different lines. We're looking at these two lines over here, and let's zoom into to some more recent times. There's the 30-day SMA of the hash rate, which is the red line, and the 60-day SMA of the hash rate, which is the orange line. So this is just the hash rate of Bitcoin. Now, one of the things to consider are shifts in the trend of these two hash rates. Now, remember, when we talk about moving averages for, say, like the price, whenever the shorter-term moving average moves above a longer-term moving average, that tends to be a bullish signal. It, it is a lagging indicator, but it does tend to say, hey, you know, if the short-term price action is more bullish than the long-term price action, then a lot of people are, have a kick in their step because we're above historical levels over, the, say, like a much longer time frame. In the same way, when the 30-day SMA is above the 60-day SMA, or it makes that transition to going from below it to above it, that has historically been a somewhat interesting signal. So if you just take the 30-day divided by the 60-day, you'll get this. Okay, this is that this is the line that you're looking at. And you'll see you'll see some some lines sort of going across the page from from you know from um, or vertical lines going going up and down across the page. Where do these lines come from? What we're looking at is we're looking at the time that the 30 day crosses above the 60 day. Okay? Now what does that mean? If we sort of zoom in here, you can see that this horizontal line represents one. So if the 30 day is above the 60 day, so if the 30 day SMA of the hash rate is higher than the 60 day SMA of the hash rate, then you're going to get a number above one. If the counterpoint is true, so if the 60 day is higher than the 30 day SMA of the hash rate, then you're going to get a number below one. Okay, so imagine just for, you know, just as an example, let's imagine the 30 day SMA is one and the 60 day SMA is two, then again, you're going to get 0.5. Therefore, it would be below 1. The vertical lines you see going up and down the page are representing when we go from being below 1 to being above 1. So it means that you know there are some times when the 30-day gets less than the 60-day SMA. And what we're looking for is not when it becomes less than the 60-day, but after it becomes less than the 60-day, we want to know when it breaks back up to the upside. And when you just look at that, when you see when does the ratio go from being less than one to above one, this is the indicator that you get. It has a fairly good track record, okay? So for instance, let's suppose you bought Bitcoin anytime this indicator flashed, you would have bought it here after the bear market. That's the key thing. You don't see this indicator flash that frequently in parabolic bull markets, but you also don't really see them flash in bear markets either. Now there is one counterpoint. I mean, first of all, you can see that all of these would have been great buys over here, it would have been all great buys over here as well. Even here, great buys. And what you'll notice is they don't flash during the bear market. They do it at the end, okay? Once the bottom is in. Now, there's one counterpoint you might note. It flashed here just before we had our May 2021 capitulation. Now, one thing we can do to try to make this, you know, let's say the, the, the signal to noise ratio just a little bit better, is we can add in some price momentum. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in, we're gonna take the 30-day SMA of the hash rate, divide it by the 60-day SMA of the hash rate, and then we're gonna add the 10-day SMA of the price divided by the 20-day SMA of the price. When you do that, you get this. So it removes that sort of false signal there, and what you see is that every time this indicator went from being less than one to being above one, it was a fairly attractive time to buy Bitcoin. This was before this bull market, and you can see we did not get a signal in the bear market. We got plenty of signals in the bull market, but once the parabolic mania phase was sort of 
um, you know, finalizing, you don't really see any any signals because it, this is sort of the point where you should be taking profits is the idea. Okay, you did not see any signal flash in the bear market until we hit the bottom. Okay, and then plenty of signals telling you the bull market's coming. Even in 2018, no signals until we got to the very end of 2018, which was basically right after the bottom. And you can see many signals following that. Now, you could argue that this was a false signal, but then you had the pandemic drop. I'm not going to hold that against it because all markets just, we had a black swan event and, and it was a very unpredictable thing. But you can see that every other signal here was really good and it led into further price increases. Even in the summer of 2021, in August, you can see we saw the hash rate flash or not the hash rate, we saw this hash ribbon flash, which doesn't count for the price momentum, as I said, just before this rally. The key thing I want to draw your attention to is that we have not seen it flash yet, okay? Now, remember, one of the things that I know people, you know, sort of feel a certain way when we call it a bear market, um, like I, I know me calling it a bear market doesn't necessarily sit well with everyone, but I, I think to some degree, if you if you just sort of do away with the terminology, if you have a, if you have a hard time labeling it anything, just recognize that we haven't really seen this thing flash in a while. And again, it doesn't typically flash when when you know we're in these either a parabolic bull run or when we're in a bear market. So I think the key thing to consider is that if it does flash, it would be a fairly decent indicator if history is any indication that we should see some higher prices coming. Now, we need to further investigate that to see if it's a likely scenario in the short term. This ratio is currently at 1.01, but we cannot go, we cannot see this indicator flash until we first go below one. Again, it only flashes when we go from being below one to being above one. And right now, we still sit above one. We're currently at a, at a ratio of 1.01. .01. So again, in order to see this indicator flash, you first need to go below one and then when you come back up to it, that's what gives you this indication that the market is finally turning around. So I do think, you know, exercising some patience and, and, and just recognizing that the indicator will flash at some point in the future, but it just simply has not flashed at this point and that it, it could still be, you know, some months to come before we actually see that thing flash. But when it does flash, it is it will be an interesting thing to follow because if it if we do see the indicator say, hey, this is a, a, a good signal to, to buy Bitcoin based on historical data. We'll be able to put it to get to the test once again to see if it works out. If you guys like the content, remember to subscribe to the channel and make sure you check out Into the Cryptoverse Premium at intothecryptoverse.com if you want to get access to this chart amongst a number of other charts. I also do have a Twitter. If you guys want to follow me there, you can find a link to the Twitter in the description below where I do post some occasional updates other than just like the videos and whatnot. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.